What's up everyone? It's Ruby here. Give you guys another video. So today we're gonna be doing something new. I don't usually cover gaming news because that's not really my cup of tea. But it was brought to my attention this is happening and I wanted to get my thoughts on it because I think I actually do have some new thoughts about it. So, for those of you who are familiar with The Sims 4, you would know that there are expansion packs, game packs, and stuff packs that come out every year. An expansion pack usually adds a lot of features to the games, adds... Um, Adds clothing, categories, towns, worlds, you name it. It's it just, expansion packs are the ones that are probably the most popular. They're like, uh, get to work, get famous, get together, city living, um, uh, and others, island living, um, etc. Game packs usually add a game mechanic but it's not it doesn't really change the game necessarily so it adds it adds a lot of items it adds some sort of game feature but it doesn't really expand upon the sims 4 um so game packs are like dine out um spa day Outdoor Retreat, um, all of the Supernaturals fall under a game pack, that sort of stuff. And then a stuff pack is just items. You pretty much just get items like uh, Laundry Day, like Luxury Party Pack, like um, my first pet stuff. So like Cats and Dogs would be an expansion pack. I think it's an expansion pack. Um, and so on and so forth. So those are the types of packs, DLC, that The Sims team releases and makes. So this time, the EA leaked that they are going to be releasing an eco-living expansion pack. So basically tier 3. So think about it, about it this way. Expansion packs are tier 3, um, game packs are tier 2, and stuff packs are tier 1. In the sense that expansion packs will give you the most content out of all of them. Game packs will give you a little bit more, uh, but, not as, but not as much as the expansion packs. And stuff packs, well, they're, just, they're exactly how, they, how, it, how it is. So... Defined on the Sims page, an expansion pack or expansion packs are large packs that expand your game and take your Sims on new adventures. So they have Discover University, they have Island Living, Get Famous, Seasons, Get uh, Cats and Dogs, City Living, Get Together, Get to Work, and Get to Work. And then they have game packs, game packs, as defined by EA or The Sims or whatever, are medium-sized packs that add new experiences to play in a thematic way. So they have Realm of Magic, they have Strangerville, they have Jungle Adventure, Parenthood, Vampires, Dine Out, a spa day, an outdoor retreat, and then stuff packs, as defined by EA, are smaller packs that add more to your Sims' lives with fun objects and fashion. So they're usually objects and, and clothes. Uh, there's tiny living, uh, mosquitoes, mosquito stuff, um, my first pet stuff, laundry day, uh, toddler stuff. Fitness stuff, um, bowling, uh, bowling, <laughs> bowling, bowling night, uh, vintage glamour, backyard, 
uh, kids room, romantic garden, movie hangout, uh, spooky, uh, cool kitchen, perfect patio, luxury party. Basically, those are the ones that kind of have the most, they're the most of them because they're so small. Um, so anyways, so Eco Living is supposed to be an expansion pack. So the biggest of the three. And people have a problem with that. Because that means that it's taking up a slot that another could. And people believe that Eco Living would be better as a game pack than an expansion pack. Well, let's read about what Eco Living is supposed to be based on this leak that they made. And let's figure out what EA or Maxis is trying to do. So it says, ready for your Sims to impact their world? Move into a community of fellow collaborative makers in the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. Play to change and make a difference in the new world of Evergreen Harbor. Help your new neighbors decide on a community space project, reduce your eco footprint, and watch your neighborhood transform. You'll be surprised by what happens when your sims start making the rules. That's a whole lot of stuff. But the description certainly sounds like a game pack. It sounds, based on the description, it sounds like a, a game pack more than an expansion pack. Because it does. It does sound like, you know, you're going through this adventure and it's part of like a one-time thing and that's that. Which is basically what a game pack is. Basically, a game pack is something that you would kind of just use once. Um, like, it's like a one time, it's sort of like a one time thing. Although not all of them are like that. They tend to be that way. And it sounds like Eco Lifestyle is. But there's a bit of a catch. There's a bit of a catch. Because. Hmm. First of all. They, they're clearly adding a new world. Evergreen Harbor. What's that supposed to be? Um, I have no idea. Based on the name, it sounds like there's going to be trees and water. <laughs> um, I don't really know what kind of world that's going to be. Evergreen Harbor. Um, maybe something United Kingdom it comes to mind, maybe. Um, like Scotland, possibly. Um, like I don't really see a picture of like what the world type is supposed to be. As to what will it add? Well, expansion packs usually add a lot of things. First of all, it usually adds a bunch of careers for that pack. Um, so what kind of careers could an eco-living expansion pack add to the game that isn't already in there? Um... <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> um... Even if it, it, could, it could just be like a couple. Um... A couple of them. So... Let's actually start with let's, let's start with si simpler things. Okay, let's actually start with simpler things and work our way up. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, guys. My bad. Um. So, what kind of stuff can we expect in the expansion pack? Well, my initial thought is windmills, solar panels, um, a lot of build items. My main my, mo my main thought process is build items. I think we're going to get a lot more build items. Could that possibly mean that we actually get ladders? 
I think that ladders are a possibility because when I think eco-friendly, I do think ladders because they uh, don't take up a lot of space. Um, they are very efficient. They don't use a lot of materials. So possibly we could get ladders, maybe. Um, that's one thought. Although people would say, well, they should just update the game and give us ladders. Well, I'm just I'm just listing thought my thought process. I'm also thinking hats, um, more hats. I mean, we could use more hats, better hats, to be honest. Um, but for some reason, I think I think have hats like straw hats or something like that. Although I was kind of thinking that for country living, um, more than this. Um, I think what we're going to see is a lot more off the grid stuff. And I think that's kind of where they're going at. Because people have been wanting to expand upon the off the grid stuff. And I think that's where EA is having their thought process. Is that people want an expansion and to improve the off the grid experience. Because you can build uh, an off the grid house, but it's not necessarily the the best like outdoor retreat starts that path but it only adds camping stuff there is so much more to um to an eco uh, to an off the grid type place that you could add that has nothing to do with camping there's a lot of places that live off of the grid such as technically in the mountains a lot of them tend to live off the grid, but it's not necessarily in like a cabin or a tent. Uh, yeah, they're not necessarily going camping and they're not, you, not, they're not necessarily going on vacation uh, to do that. Um, they, sometimes people live there, they grow crops, they, um, they really work on preserving stuff. We could get greenhouses and I think that's also an item that could improve the game. You could actually have pre-built, I mean, technically you can build a greenhouse yourself, right? R building greenhouses are very simple to do, especially with all of the tools that EA has given us to do so. So it feels like, e if it, it, kind of, it does feel like eco-living isn't really necessary with all of the expansion packs and game packs and the stuff packs that we already have. So what could possibly be so important to add into an expansion pack rather than a game pack that is eco-friendly, eco-related? And I think the answer is build types. I think that it is possible that eco living will introduce a new type of lot. Perhaps one that does not require electricity and maybe even a new type of residential lot. So we, so tiny living added a category into the the in, in the lots and it added the tiny living house or something like that residential tiny living resident or something like that so i would think that eco living would also add a lot type like eco friendly but not eco friendly um probably like off the grid lot something like that um perhaps using this expansion pack you could actually do jobs that don't require a computer. There are a lot of jobs that require computers. I am trying to think of a reason why eco living needs to be an expansion pack. I really am. Um, but the more that I think about it, it really does just sound like a game pack. And maybe, perhaps, Perhaps, the reason why it was taken down as well, is that perhaps the reason why it was taken down is because maybe it was miscategorized. Maybe it is a game pack. 
I don't know. I'm just trying to think of why, if it is legit, if it's legit, what would an eco-living expansion pack look like? Well, I think it, it, it would resemble a lot like island living and city living. So, because those are, they have the similar names. So, what did Island Living add? Island Living added uh, key features. Sit back and relax. Welcome to Sulani, where the sun shines. So, it added a world, basically. Um, it added a job. Con conservationist, clean up the beaches, watch your sims Im impact bloom all over the island. Wait. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Wait a second. Become a conservationist, clean up your the beaches, and watch your sims impact bloom all over the island. And what was eco-living? Play to change and make a difference in the new world of Evergreen. Help your neighbors decide on a community space project. Reduce your eco footprint and watch your neighborhood transform. You'll be surprised by what happens when your sims start making the rules. Wow. That sounds... <laughs> That sounds the exact same, except one's on an island. Okay, anyways, back to this, though. Okay. Uh, tradition runs deep in Solani, and your sims get to experience everything it has to offer. Immerse sims in the, their newfound lifestyle by attending a pit barbecue event. Uh, learning... So it added events, it added some game mechanics... Um, and then obviously it added outfits to go with that. So the career was basically a con conservationist. The, the game mechanic is essentially adding uh, more events, um, adding uh, some actions, um, and outfits, <laughs> and... Uh, changing changing the world and added mermaids it did add mermaids though and and stingrays um and the ability to build a sand castle i don't know if that necessarily then again some people would argue that island living didn't need to be a, an expansion pack it could have just been a game pack someone even argue that city living could be a game pack but let's see what city living added where is city living city living what did City Living add? At least according to EA. Um, it added San Mishuno, which is the city. Um, get creative in arts quarter and, or sing your heart out at the karaoke bar. So it added a bunch of different types, types of lots. Um, it added different events, uh, festivals, uh, definitely more definitely sounds more like an expansion pack i know it added like spicy food um you can now adapt your taste buds to be more tolerant to spicy foods you can have the skills and like with your chopsticks and everything um it added a different type of living space and i think that's also the key i think that's the key that it adds a different type of living that we don't already have so island living obviously added an island that we live on. So we get to go into the water a little bit. We get to have our houses by the shore. Um, we, um, and in city living, you have this community where you don't necessarily go to the, the, the specific lots. You go to a, a district and then you can interact with everyone around that area you essentially have an open neighborhood with city living. And I think that's the key. That if if it if it's an expansion pack, I think EA sees expansion packs a lot different than how we see expansion packs. Because again, they're 
actual definition of an expansion pack is very vague. It's not specific to anything that people are saying. Their only description, their only description for an expansion pack is large packs that expand your game and take your sins on new adventures. And I think that's the key. That this is going to be a new adventure. Perhaps I think that the world is going to be similar to some of the outdoor retreat worlds, but it's going to be in the main game. You're going to be able to live there. I think that it's probably going to be very foresty. And that's what I would imagine. That it's going to have a lot of trees, a lot of forests. Um, and it's going to obviously have a harbor because it literally says harbor in the name. Uh, Evergreen Harbor. Um, I don't really know what that is like in real life. Like, I maybe Canada? Uh, I don't know. I don't live near the harbor anywhere. So, I don't really know exactly what that would like. I guess we would have maybe, like, a marine area. Um, perhaps it would... Mm, well, that doesn't really make any sense, never mind. What could, what could be added? Boats, perhaps? Perhaps we'll have boats in Eco Living? Um, windmill, I think the key though is different types of power. Um, so if you, you can have like wind, windmills that power your lot. And if you have enough windmills, you won't need to pay your bills. Same with solar panels, like if you provide your own energy, your own electricity, you're not going to have to pay the bills for it. Um, oh man, I'm really trying to think though. I think that eco living is going to be like island living and city living, where it's not necessarily adding like a whole bunch of, of, of things. Well, I mean, if you think about it, none of the expansion packs have added a whole, a whole, a whole lot in the, in the short term. What they've done is that they've made the world just a little bit more round. If you think about it, expansion packs don't really actually have a whole lot. At least not as much as we think it does. There's a lot of ways to kind of trick a person into believing that so much has been added to the game. Expansion pack sounds a lot better than a game pack. Um, and it means that it is applicable to, to the world of the Sims. Perhaps there are some things that are going to change behind the scenes if you, if you do this. It sounds like Eco Living is going to add story progression. And I think that's also another thing. It it does sound like it will add some sort of story progression. Not in the way that probably people are hoping for, but it's a step in the right direction. You're going to be able to interact with your neighbors. You're going to be able to, to, to have your neighborhood be what you want it to be. You can either make it really good or really bad, but you will be able to see your neighborhood change. And I think that, I think that is why it's an expansion pack because for the first time, you are going to be able to control this neighborhood in every single decision that you make. Now that does sound like Stranger Veil, it sounds like it would be better as a game pack because it sounds more like a questy type thing. But I think the idea of eco-living is to um, soft insert story progression. Now, I don't think this is going to be the last story progression type update that we get. 
And I don't think that it'll be the only one. Like, I don't think that in order to get story progression, you'll have to buy this pack. But I think it's kind of a test. If people like eco lifestyle or whatever it's called, eco living, I don't, I think it's technically called eco lifestyle expansion pack. It's eco lifestyle. That is so weird. Um, it's not actually called eco living. <laughs> but nowhere, they don't actually say eco living on their on their website. They or at least they didn't say that. They said eco lifestyle. That's kind of a weird name. Perhaps that's a substitute name. I don't know. Um, I think eco living sounds better though. To be honest. I think that's what everybody is going with. <laughs> um, but either way, I think I think the reason why it's an expansion pack is because it says lifestyle in the name. It's not a it's not like it's going to change how you play The Sims Four, and I think that is why it's an expansion pack. It's going to change the way you play The Sims Four. It is actually, if you think about it, and you think about the description that it that it says it is, at least from the leak that they posted, it is going to be something that has an actual impact on The Sims 4. It is going, it sounds like, it will add story progression into The Sims 4. Now I know that's not the type of story progression that you necessarily want, but I think this is sort of a trial run. I think this is sort of a trial run for EA. To see if you really like this. To see if you like this method of story progression. Because while a lot of people will say that story progression should be a free update as well as many things like ladders and um, other stuff, I think it's going to be kind of similar to that one pack that added a hot tub. I forget which one it was, but one of the packs added a hot tub into The Sims 4. And so for, for finally, you were able to get a hot tub right and then later on the sims 4 20th anniversary uh they gave a hot tub to the to the base game to everyone who had the base game so i think this is going to be a similar type of thing where they're going to add story progression to this trial for this trial people and they're playing their eco style thing whatever it's called eco living whatever the expansion pack is called um i think that they're going to then use that as sort of a test run to see how much people actually like this 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 expansion pack does it get a great recept if it gets a really good reception um i think that possibly we could look at a future where the next expansion pack adds even more story progression in stages more than just one big update and i think that at some point if this is received well we might actually be able to see more story progression being added into the game not just through expansion packs and game packs and such but also through through an actual update to The Sims 4. And I think that is the key here. And I think that people do have the right to be upset over this. But I think you do, first of all, we need to be able to hear it from the gurus. Because we really don't know what's coming here. It is a very vague sentence that people are basing this all off of. Yes, the title Eco Living doesn't really sound expansion, sound like an expansion. But then again, did City Living and Island Living sound like expansion packs when they were first announced? 
Not really. It sounded like when I think you when you add the term blank living, it sounds like a game pack. It just does for some reason. But that doesn't mean, necessarily mean that it is. And I think also the problem with Eco Living, the title, is that it makes people think of island living and outdoor retreat. We just had, like, we have two uh, game packs and expansion packs that add the eco friendly lifestyle to the game. Like, how many more eco packs are we going to get? Um. But I do think that this will end up being something a little bit different. And I think especially since it's an expansion pack. Which means that we are going to get a lot of stuff that will impact the game. Now a lot of people's issues with this pack is that it will probably cost like $70. The expansion packs are usually the most expensive. Game packs are a little cheaper, and then stuff packs are even less. So I think that's also the issue, is that people don't want to pay $70 for this for this game. Or at least what they, they, what they think it's going to be. I think, first of all, we have to wait until the actual announcement so that we can know, first, is it true? And second, is it, uh, what, it what exactly is it? Right? So I'm sure when they make the announcement, the proper announcement, that they are going to explain to us what this pack is actually going to bring. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a stream about it. I'm sure there's going to be uh, tweets about it that will help clarify what exactly is coming to the game. Also keep in mind that there is a different, uh, there's different demand for everything. Also, what made me think of this is that there was a survey done two years ago regarding eco-living. Now, that survey was for a stuff pack, and that's what eventually led to Laundry Day stuff pack. However, perhaps the reason why we are seeing an expansion pack is because there were other parts of that survey that indicated to them that people really, really, really wanted a particular feature. And that was off-grid living. And so I think people, the EA is thinking, okay, so people really want laundry, but they also really want this off-the-grid stuff. So I think what they did is that they try to run that, that idea with outdoor retreat. And now they're hearing on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and whatever that people want more of it. They want to expand upon that. And so they're thinking, okay, we gave them a stuff pack. We gave them a game pack. How can we give them an expansion pack. And you could argue, well, they could have just done it with Island Living. Well, Island Living was a little bit different in the sense that it didn't just add an island and call it a day. It added mermaids. It added um, different types of features that have nothing to do with eco living. Um, island Living was a very tropical update. It's very much like Hawaii. Um, that type of living. It had it added a lot of things that are themed with that. And so li eco um, island living is a very different theme than um, than eco living is. Eco living, I'm thinking they are thinking more green, like uh, green power. Uh, they're probably thinking. Uh, green houses. Uh, they're probably thinking windmills, solar panels, that type of stuff. Not palm trees and water. <laughs> um, I think this is going to be a way 
to add more stuff that is off the grid related so that we can have a pack that is dedicated to what everybody wants and have it swoop down into in, into one pack and then you might say well why did i buy island living or why did i buy outdoor retreat if we're just going to get into an expansion now because it's different okay i don't know i'm not gonna promise you anything i'm not ea right i don't know exactly what ea's thought process is yet especially since we don't have a whole lot of information but what i'm thinking is that they're thinking that it is different because whatever they're adding i'm sure is actually going to be different than what we've seen so far now, people are concerned because there's only so many expansion packs there are going to be before we have The Sims 5. And there's only going to be so many game packs before we have The Sims 5. And there's only going to be so many um, stuff packs that we have in The Sims 5. <laughs> before we have The Sims 5. I think stuff packs, for the most part, they're going to keep on coming. Game packs uh, and expansion packs take more time. And so the question is, will there be more expansion in game packs that um, <sighs> by the time, yeah, I mean, like, people are wondering, like, so this is going to take up a slot that something else could be in. And there's definitely a lot more demand for other types of expansion packs, like Country Living, um, but I also think that perhaps the real answer that why we're getting Eco Light Living first is because Country Living is taking a lot more time to actually make. Than they initially thought it was. I feel like the country living expansion pack or game pack or whatever is something that has been in the works for a while um, and probably has been taking a lot longer than they initially thought because they have to make the horses, they have to make sure that they're real and everything and they have, there's a lot more that you have to add with country living. And so then people are like, well, why don't they just make it a game pack? Um, I think the reason why they're ma not making a game pack is because they figured out something else that would be a game pack. I don't know what that will, what that will be, but clearly there's something else that is going to be a game pack, and we'll just have to see what that is and debate about whether or not that should have been actually been a game pack, or if they should have been switched. But either way, it's not like we can change anything, so for now, we just have to wait for more news so anyways i think that will be it i think that is all that i want to talk about for today comment down below are you happy about eco living do you think it should be an expansion pack or or do you have some problems with ea <laughs> doing this um yeah well that's it. Peace out, guys. It's been a blast. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you guys enjoyed. And, and yeah, peace out.